Begin the current daf, Mesech des Bamatzi daf Kovav, begin on the bottom of Kov Hamid Bays, seven lines up at the bottom of Yamid, where the Gemara continues with the Allah of the next Mishnah. Again, all have the same words, Habakabal Sad Machaber, like the title of the parak, which, as the Gemara had already previously mentioned, they either referred to one or the other of Kablanus slash Arisus, which is sharecropping, which is that there's profit sharing from the field itself, or Chakiris, which is really a lease. And that the renter has to pay a certain amount of bushels, regardless of what the actual field produces. Throughout the entire world, so discussed in today's daf are So if someone he uh, accepts a field from his friend um, to work on, and it gets eaten up by locust or wind blasted. So in Marcus Medina, he, if it's a global problem, then he charges him less for the lease. But if it's not, then he still has to pay the same amount. Some of the important terms of the concept is mazl chagoram, that your mazl causes it, and therefore that's not an excuse to pay less. Chazaka, what establishes a chazaka? Is it after two times, after three times? The well-known Tamaric uh, machlekes. Even if, let's say, something happened to all the plantations, but if you didn't plant it all, then you cannot diminish from the chakiras. If he plants and it doesn't sprout, there also he doesn't doesn't pay less from his chakiras. The next mission: if someone again accepts a field from his friend for ten core of wheat a year, and it gets ruined. So it meaning it's it's inferior. He gives from the, because it's a arusus. He gives it to him from the thing itself, uh, meaning from from chakiras actually. If it comes out to be high quality, you shouldn't tell him that okay, I'll give you from the marketplace. Rather, he gives it to him from inside, meaning for both better or for worse. So we get the current daf daf kovhei. Seven lines up at the bottom of the Yamad, where we continue our look at the next Mishnah. It says in the Mishnah, If someone accepts a field from his friend, now, however, it gets consumed, it gets eaten up by locusts, or it gets um, flooded, it gets, uh, it gets, it gets ruined um, by a flood. So it depends. If it is a, a, a global problem, which he doesn't explain exactly what qualifies for Marcus Medina. So which Rashi points out that this Mishnah must only be talking about Chakranis, which is a type of a lease, uh, and you pay him a certain amount of bushels per year, because if it's Bakablanis, then what type of Menaka would there be? It's whatever happens, happens. We're, we're profit sharing. So obviously we're talking about that, um, we're talking about the Chakranis. And that we're saying that, okay, you, you pay less for the lease, because uh, the, you're not getting such a good product, and uh, and the, and therefore it's it's the it's the problem of the owner. Now, in Medina, if it's not a global problem, then in then it doesn't diminish him from his lease because he can tell him, look, mazel chakaram, it's your mazel uh, that caused that, that this should be a problem for this field, and because look at all the fields around, there's nothing wrong with them. he says, he says if the contract was that the owner is going to be paid with money not like it usually is from the actual produce itself then bankach bankach says and even if it's a makas medina it's a global problem in the it does not diminish from the rent money because the on money there was no gezerah of problems and therefore you don't you can't say on the money that belongs to the owner that there was this peronius that came to the world because it's the produce that got cursed. So that you could say, okay, look, everyone has this problem. I'm not going to pay as much. But for money, that was never on that. If he was getting like everyone else, like from the produce, then you say, okay, the produce is, I'm going to, I'm going to pay less. But since it's money, says Rabbi Huda, then he cannot pay any less from the rent. So that's the What's considered a global uh, maka, a countryside problem that we say that menakalim and chakurai that we diminish from the rent money. So I'm going to This is going to shad the vruba the baga. We talk about where most of the this valley, where this field is inside of it, got flooded. 
That's considered Makas Medina. And again, that would be something that he would diminish the amount he has to give for the rent. Ulama, he says, says, just if there's the four surrounding fields were affected, that's considered a Makas Medina. Now, Oma Ula, now the Gemara has some interesting questions regarding this qualification. In the Eretz you saw they asked, what happens if Nishtaf tell him? What happens if the a row of a furrow of Echad, of just one furrow, and not anymore from the surrounding fields, there's one row of Pnei Kula around the entire field. My, what's the halacha if only the outer furrow from the surrounding fields were hit? But the remainder of those fields were not hit. Is this considered also Nishtad for Abbasadis Ma'abaruch Yisaho? Because it's all around it, but it wasn't the whole field. So, to let's say Nishtar tell him Echad Apanekul, let's say the other way around. Let's say all the fields around it were not um, ruined. And the four fields around it um, were flooded. And so, to this field, that Ma'ahu, what's the halacha? Do we say that since we say that one furrow? On all around it was not ruined, so it's not a makat medina, must be his muzzle. Do you say that no, that remnant of that one furrow of the surrounding fields is not significant? And we would say that the four surrounding fields were ruined. Another question is if sikabeira, if let's say there's a sade bur, which is an empty fallow field that's in the way between the flooded fields and this one field that this guy's renting. So if, the, if, if you have the four fields that were around were empty fields, and the other fields all around that were ruined. My, what's the halacha? Do we say that the four fields that are around it were not uh, 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 flooded? Or do we say, you could tell them, no, if they would have been planted, they would have been, they would have been ruined. And, uh, and therefore, uh, that's the question about would we call this a Makhans Bedin or not? Another question is Aspasta. Let's say those fields all around, the four fields that were planted were shachas, which is the animal fodder, and they weren't ruined. And they're in between the shadufas, the ruined ones, and this field that this guy's renting. It's a same type of kovav madalf. My, what's the lucha? Do we say that the four fields all around would not nishtafu in the first not a Or maybe no, he could tell them. Had they been planted with grain, they would have been nished because there was a gzeiro in the on all the the, the tvua in this area. And then the Gemara says, and if you're going to say that a spasta is not a havsaka, because that's not included in the gezer of the piranhas of grain, because you could tell them had it been grain, it would have been also ruined. The question is, however, zera achermai. What's the halacha? Or just a different type of a seed, a different type of a planting. Would that be a havsaka? Would that be interruption if that didn't get ruined or not? Moreover, wheat regarding to barley, is that like another seed or not? Another question is, let's say, yes, the whole world, the Makas Medina, everyone gets Shadafan. But his actually he also gets ruined, but for a different reason, he gets for yellowing. Or Inami, let's say, the whole world is, is yellowing, and his gets blasted. My, what's the halacha? It's going to take a little sense. It's not clear regarding all these cases. To be able to qualify this as a Makas Medina, are these things considered different things? And therefore, they wouldn't be a raya, or would they be considered the same idea? And therefore, you could say Makas Medina, and therefore, Menachem Lomil Chakurai, we would charge him less for what he owes to the owner. Now, a, a related discussion on Malay, what happens if, let's say, the Balabais tells him, Zorachiti, uh, I'm giving you um, this field. To plant wheat. He went to he planted barley. And most of the, 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 the whole uh, countryside, their, 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 their plants got ruined. His barley also got ruined. My, what's the So, what's the question? Me and Rina, do we say, had you planted wheat, it would have gotten ruined? Oh, no, I mean, could he tell the Balabais? Had I planted a wheat, it would have also gotten ruined. So therefore, um, I don't have to, I could pay less because, because you see everyone's stuff got ruined. No, maybe the Balabais could tell him, and it's not true. 
Ilu zarata chiti, had you planted wheat, of Mekayimbi, it would have been fulfilled with me the Pasig and Eev. But Tigzer Oimer, and you, 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 you said your plan. But Yelkam Loch, and Hashem does it for you. Meaning what you ask from the Creator, He does. And I, says the Balabais, only asked from Shemayim in the beginning of the year that I should be successful with wheat, not with barley. My tefillah was, was, with, 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 was, with, was with wheat. And you didn't do that, so my tefillahs weren't in the scabble. Had you done the right thing, maybe Hashem would have listened to me. So that's the question. Is that a legitimate claim? It says the Gemara, Mistabra, the logic is the Amale, the Dabal Basketam. Yeah, Izra Tachiti. You're right. Although everyone's crops got ruined, but you did barley. Izra Tachiti had you done wheat, and Mekaimbi would have filled me because I davened well. Because as the Pasig ends, it's on your path that the light is dimmed. And because you did differently, that's why it was ruined, and we're not going to knock on the Chakura, even though everyone else's crops also got ruined. Another question says the Gemara. What happens if Nishtat will call Sadayis of Shalmachim? What happens wherever the owner had property, even in a different valley, wherever they were, all his, the owner's properties got ruined. And this property that he leased out also got ruined. But most of the fields where this field was did not get ruined. My what's the question? The Gemara explains. Me, I mean, do we say since most of the fields in this valley did not get ruined? So, we don't diminish the rent money for the renter. I don't know. Since all the lands that this guy owns, Hashem obviously is punishing him. Wherever they were, they got ruined. So the renter can tell him, this is because of your mazal, obviously. All your fields got ruined. So therefore, it's your fault. So I'm going to pay less. The logic is that the owner could tell him, if it was because of my mazal, it's not true. I would have been left with something. Because we remained with a little bit from a lot. Meaning that if a person is getting punished, Hashem leaves them over with a little bit. If this would have been me, I would have been left with something. And everything I have got ruined. So therefore, to the contrary, it must be not because of me. And therefore, this is not my muzzle. You can't blame it on me. And therefore, you, don't have, you cannot pay any less of the rent money. But then the Gemara says the opposite. What happens if uh, the renter, whatever he owned, wherever it was all over the world, his properties got ruined. Now, the, the, the field that he's renting, all the fields in that, most of the fields in that valley also got ruined. And the one he's renting also got ruined. So that's the question. The Gemara says, interesting. Do we say, Okay, you say most of the fields in the valley got ruined, so that's the Allah of Makis Medina. But actually, we would diminish the amount. I didn't know. Since all his fields, even those that are in a different valley, also got ruined, the owner could tell the renter, who must be your bad mazel, because all your fields got ruined, and therefore you can't uh, pay any less because of the blaming like Makis Medina. It's, it's a problem with you. The logic tells us. That the owner could tell him, it must be your mazel. So says, wait, am I? Why don't you say, why can't you say, like in the previous case we mentioned, let the renter tell the owner, if was because of my bad mazel, Hashem would left me over something. That Mekayim, that it can be fulfilled with me, the Pazik and the Shan, we were left with a little bit from a lot. But now I'm left with nothing. So it must be that this field that's getting ruined is not because of me. Because it was because of me, it would have been left over. Says, come on, no, this is different. The only can tell the renter, you have a chazis, if it would be fit for you, something to be left over for you, it would have been left over from one of your own properties, not the rented property. And therefore, since we're talking about the rented property, that can't be the one that would have been the ma'at maharbe. And therefore, don't use that as an excuse to say it must be not your mazel. No, it's your mazel. And therefore, that for, it may be a different field you want to know why. But this field, um, definitely, uh, you can. It's you can't try to pay any less rent um, because of that excuse of not not. Right. Well, even if you could, the point is, but you can't say that this one should have been like the Ma'at Maharbe, and like to say that like, okay, so uh, you know. Right. 
Well, it doesn't prove because he's saying that, look at you, look, all your stuff, everywhere got ruined. Right. Yeah. So you, but the childless, what happened, Taka? Right. Right, right, right. But that definitely you can't get off the hook um, by trying to say that this would have been that one. Um, um, yeah, we'll chase to discuss a little bit on the top, chase a little bit regarding this. But Yimar says, Mesve. Yimar, however, asks on this qualification of what we're discussing, we're saying what's considered Makas Medina. So we said, like, if the four fields around it or Ruba de Baga. So that's, but now the Gemara, however, asks on this from the following Brysa. The Brysa says that um, if someone sells something at a time when the halachas of Yevil apply, which halachas you're not allowed to redeem it less than two years after it was sold, as the Mishnah teaches in Erech and Abchav Tesema Beis. Now, so, so there's a minimum of two years that the, that the buyer could hold on to it. What happens if Hayes Shnash should and Virakan? What happens if one year the, the, the crop got yellowed or got uh, wind blasted, or Shvius, or was a Shemitah year, or it was like the years of Baileon, that no rain came. So, in other words, the, the, you, it wasn't two years of, of planting. So, in Oilam and Aminia, that will not count for the number of the minimum of two years before you could buy it back. Okay, that's what the Mishnah says, the Brisa says. But says the Gemara, Katani, one thing we learned is that Shadafin, Virakin, we're comparing the wind blasting and the yellowing of the crop to Midashan Kishnel Yo, similar to what was in the years of Yon Nabi. Now, Mashnel Yo, just like the years of Yon Nabi, the Lavatul Club, there was no green at all because there was no rain. Afoch and Nabi, the Lavatul Club, sounds like that when we say that the, the yellowing and the, and, the, and the ruining of the crops was there's no green at all. But it sounds like about the Ikatwa, but if there was grain elsewhere, even though in that valley everything was ruined, we'll still tell to the buyer, it's your ma- bad mazel that caused it. And sleekily, we would remove him by diminishing the value of what is a, the value of one year as if there was Paris. And that is Valaikar in Max Medina. We're not going to say, oh, it's Max Medina, it doesn't count. We say we do count. So that seems to contradict what we were saying that Max Medina is enough for an excuse for the buyer. So Nachman Yitzchak, he says, no, Shani Hasam, there it's different. Because that, uh, the Kapasik qualifies the Allah of buying back a property you sold for, for, as a Gzeir Zakasim. Damakar, the Pasad says, it's the number of two years of grain that it sold it to you, which is Shonim Shesh Bem Tavu Ba'olam. We're talking about what specific types of years, not just, not just years. It has to be years that there's grain in the world anywhere. And since there is grain anywhere, so therefore it's going to count as a year. That doesn't have anything to do with when you're leasing a property and the whole baga, the whole, the whole valley gets ruined. That No, then you wouldn't have to, uh, you, you could diminish the amount of rent that you owe. Now, however, the Gemara asks him, like Rav Ashtar, Rav Khan, he says, if that's the case, Shvi is taught living in the minion, then Shemitah should also be counted towards the two years because the Ikatu B'chutzla, it's somewhere in, it's not like Shnei Siliyahu, that there's no, nothing in the whole world. There, there's grain in the Chutzla, it's where there, there are a lot of plants. Well, he says, no, Shvi is, Shmiti of course, the Malki. It's, it's, the, it's the king's um, removal. In other words, the king, Hashem, nullifies, doesn't let us plant. It's as if it's not there. And the, the, therefore, the Pasuk cannot call it for the Jewish people, a Shnas Tevua. So that's why it doesn't count. So I'm going to of says, but if that's the case, if you tell me the Shmiti is like, like it doesn't exist, so in the Halach, if someone sanctifies his field and he's coming to redeem it, the Pasuk gives a certain redemption in the beginning of Yoyvul, Chamishim Shekel Kassim. If it's after Yoyvul, so Bechishim Lakayin. So you start calculating a ratio of 50, the Nigrim Erkacha, whatever years passed, you diminish from that Cheshbin how much it reaches. And you give how many years are still there. Now, the question is, since Shemitah is like it's not there, so why they counted to diminish the Pidyan? Shvi is and I grew the Shemitah should not be counted from how much you diminish per year. So Allah, it's not wide, the mission of Erkin that says, No, you sell Opunyan Lashana that we calculate for the coming years, that's the cheshman that reaches for every single year when you divide the 50 slum at the 49 years, comes out that the Shemitah years are, are being added to diminish from the pidyon because if you take away the seven years of Shemitah in the 50-year cycle of Yevil and you divide the 50 shkam into 42 years, comes out every single year is close to a cell and a dinner. So why are you saying you sell on the punyan? Obviously Shemitah is counted, but why should Shemitah be counted if the Shemitah is like it's non-existent? Well, you know, Shani has a beer, and that halacha of redeeming your field that you were makdish is different because the chazal mishnah of a peri, the shmita year, you could you could still use it to put to dry to stre- spread out all your peris that you have 
So therefore, it therefore counts because regarding re- redeeming a, a steachuza, it doesn't say the word shnei tivu, it says Rashi. But in the halacha of the two years of buying back a property, which says shnei tivu, is, then it has to be specifically a grain. And Shemitah doesn't have, so therefore that doesn't count for the two years. So again, depending on the context, uh, it'll depend if there's uh, produce anywhere in the world or uh, it's regarding to qualify if this is going to count or not. Now explain the halacha the Mishnah and qualifying it. Samar so he says, Loi shana, we, did not, we did not learn that we said if it's a Makas Medina, we're going to be monocular, we're going to diminish the amount of the rent. That's Elisha Zara Betzamcha. That's only if you planted and it sprouted. And then, like we said in the Mishnah, Bach Lachakov that the locusts eat it. Avaloi Zara Klal, but if let's say you didn't plant at all, and you're right, Ruba Dabago was a Shtadif. Loi, no, you're not going to diminish the amount of rent. Why? Zamalei, the Baal Bais can tell him, Iza Zarata, had you planted, had Mekaimbi, would have been fulfilled to me, the Pasuk can tell him, Lo Yavoshu Be Yisra, they're not going to be embarrassed at a bad time. Ube Meirav and Yisbo, in the time of famine, they're going to be satiated. In other words, Hashem would have taken care of me. You didn't do it, and therefore, that's not an excuse, and therefore, you're not going to get any less rent. However, Master Rav Shesha, Rav Shesha asked on this principle of Shmuel, that says that, if you did everything and then the same thing had happened to everyone else, fine. But if you didn't do it at all, then you're going to be held responsible. But he asked from the following Bryce. The Bryce says, Raya Shaya Raya. We have a shepherd that was shepherding. He leaves the flock and he comes back into town. A wolf comes in and, and kills. So a lion comes and pounces. Says the Bryce, we don't say, had he been there, he would have been able to save. The animals. No, Elam did I say we evaluate. If you have a chayv, if the type that he couldn't say he's chayv, not not part of his part. Says Gemo, Vamai, based on Shmuel's principle, namely, why cannot the owner tell him, Yahabas Hazm, had you been there, have Mekaimi, would have been fulfilled me the Pasik in Shmuel Aleph that says, Gamma Zari, Gamma Doib, also the lion and the bear, Hika Abducha, your servant hit. And so therefore, that maybe this guy uh, would have had a spirit of Gvura and Das and uh, to to be loichim and 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 he would have been able to to kill a, a lion. You didn't try. If you tried, fine. But but that's what Shmuel's principle. Uh, uh, so it says because he could tell him. Yeah, if you're coming to me and you're saying, yeah, maybe if I would have been there, I would have gotten the spirit of Gvura and I would have beaten down the lion and a miracle would happen to you. Then have a habes rachish lochanisa krib chanina ben ben daisa. Then, 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 then you should have had a miracle even though even nicer. The Gemara brings himself tainus. The masin easy duvi bekarnayu that the goats themselves brought the beers on their horns. So meaning, even without me, then a miracle should have happened. You're saying maybe a miracle would have happened that I would have been able to beat down the lion. So then, 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 what's your excuse? Then the, the miracle should have happened even without me. Says him, wait, but namely, why can he tell him? Yeah, so the Gemara has a different type of an answer. That nehi de la nisa rabba leva chazin says. You're right, although I, I can, I'm not fit for such a big miracle like that, but Nisa Zuta, but a, a smaller miracle, as you continue on top of Kovov Mabez, Chazina, that I would have seen, the says, that, 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 that is a good question. Now, um, Tais is on the bottom of Kovov Meralev, says that, what's the question? The Gemara previously said that when he says to plant wheat, and he plants barley, and it gets ruined, he could tell him, had you planted wheat, it would have been fulfilled to me in the Pasuk, but Tigzor and Mabiyakim Lach. Meaning, I daven and Hashem helps, but you planted the wrong thing. So for sure, if the guy didn't plant at all, where there's, there's, there's no proof that, that it would have been ruined. So, so uh, of course, that, um, that this guy should be responsible. So it says Taisis, now Shmuel's talking about where he tells him, plant whatever you want to. Now he can't say, and this is a very important insight. Now he can't say, it would have been fulfilled to me the pasuk with tigzo oim be yakom lach, because mistama fascinating tosis lahoi mekava kadosh bochu tzvilase shalzeh. Because people ask me often times, like, how should I daven? Do I know if this is the right thing or not? Hashem would not have accepted this tool of this person. She had sliach koma she yizara. Imlo she asked leinas unless a miracle should happen for him, and it wouldn't. We didn't say before that it would be fulfilled to me, but tigzo oima. You're talking something specifically, but to stop say that everything should work out, unless uh, barring a miracle, Hashem wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily do. So it sounds like from Taisis that a person has to ask for something specifically 
for uh, to have this vatikzer. Right, I don't know. You have to know. I'm sure. I think they talk about this tesis. Harchev, Rocha, it's Min Chesresh. Right. Um, yeah, so that's what it sounds like. That, that for that, but then Hashem, but it's not meant to sound the Santa Tesis. Oh, come on, that's what the Gemara's question is. Is that, um, so, so Tesis just said you can't say the Taina of that, you know, I dabbed for one thing. So then the Gemara says, okay, but what I would have gotten a smaller miracle. The Gemara says, yeah, there definitely is a question on Shmuel. If you hold that the guy, you, you, you don't look at the guy what he would have. Um, uh, that you do look at, 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 at meaning he says that um, that that if you didn't put in any effort, then you're going to be chayiv. So then the question is that uh, why over there don't you say that the guy is going to be chayiv? Had he gone there, maybe he would have had a smaller miracle. Um, so that the Gemara says, yeah, that's a kasha on Shmuel. Now the Gemara uh, asks that uh, uh, a stira. Tani chada, we learned in one brisa. That we're relating to the halacha of our Mishnah of, of, of the crop getting ruined. So, Pamrishain, if the first time he planted, locusts came along and ate it up, or it was Nishtafa, then the halacha is Vishnia. He goes back, he has to plant it a second time. Zaira, because if he doesn't plant it, he doesn't diminish the rent money, because even if it's a Makis Medina, it's okay, go ahead, plant it again. The Shlish is, however, ain't a Zaira, but the third time, uh, then you don't have to plant it anymore. Problem is, but I need to another bite says a shlish is zara, the third time you have to plant, or v is in the zara, the fourth time you don't have to plant. Says the Gemara, like, that's not difficult. Ha, the first bite is kerebi. Ha, kibbushim lil, the second one's like, kibbushim bingam lil, which their machlekes is brought, masech tzivamis regarding a woman that was married to her first husband, he died, her second husband, and he died. So the question is, is she a cheskes katlanis? Does she kill her husbands? So the machlekes is, Hall Kirebi, the first price is like Rebbe Dhamma that says, betrays him near the Two times established a Chazaka. It's okay. Two times the locust ate it up. You don't have to plant it a third time. And will diminish the rent. Hall Kirebi, Mil, second price like Rebbe Dhamma that says, but last time happened as a Chazaka. It's only three times that it's a Chazaka. Another qualification in this halacha, Amr Shlakish. Shlakish says, Loishan, we did not learn that we are menakin. We, we, we charge less for the rent. If it's a market Medina, like our Mishnah said, he planted, it sprouted, and the locusts ate it up. Let's say he planted, it didn't sprout. No, the owner of the crown could tell him, call you Mezara, then all the days of the planting, you got to keep on planting. In other words, hey, maybe the time didn't come yet. So therefore, that's not an excuse. And then you got to continue planting. How long is the season of planting that he has to keep on trying? My papa, so this is where it gets to uh, more constellations. It says, Ad the Asu Adisa Medabra. It's until the sharecroppers, the workers, come back from the fields and they enter into their homes at the time when they normally come in, which Rashi says is after nine hours into the day, close to the end of the uh, the tenth hour. A taste disagrees, but the Kaima Kima. And the mazal of Kimo, which is the tail of Tle, of uh, one of the mazalis, uh, is Areshayu, is on their heads, on, on, on top of every single person. So the way Rashi explains this is that it's in the middle of the sky, but every single person could see it as if it's on his head. Which tells you, as you can't see during the daytime, but upon them, that's during the days of Adr. Because in the Galgal, which is the ecliptic, you have these 12 mazalas, what's called the zodiac. And the order is Tashas Sav Mak Gadad, which is not Hungarian, but that's, it's the acronym for the, each one is a group of three, four groups of three, which is, there's 12 mazalas. Now you always have that six are going up and six are coming down, meaning you have on top of the horizon and beneath the horizon. In Nisan, you always have in the beginning of Alisa Shachar, by the break of dawn, Tle, Aries, that starts to go up. You have maznayim, that uh, the scales, that's shay, that's, shay, that's, that's that's setting then. And you have two hours that the mazel takes to go up. After two hours that it goes up, it finishes coming up. And the one that's submerging on the other side of the horizon is finished setting. Comes out that 
six are going up in the 12 hours during the daytime, and you have six are going up in the six at nighttime. Now, all the days of Nisan, the Reish of Tle, the head of Tle, starts to go up, and in Ir, it starts with Shur, in Sivan, it starts with Tumim, and so that's the order every single month comes out. In Adr, we know the Mazl is Dogim, which it starts to go up in the morning, and at the end of two hours, the Tle starts to go up. At the end of four hours, it finishes going up, and Shur goes up. At the end of six hours, the Shur finished going up, and then Tumim starts. At the end of eight hours, Tumim finished, and then Sartin, cancer starts going up, comes out that the head of Tle is then in the middle because it already passed six hours from when it started this Tle, and at six hours, its head is in the middle because in the beginning of the going up of the Mazel until the beginning of the setting is 12 hours, comes out that from when it starts going up until six hours, it gets to the middle of the sky. Now, at the end of eight hours from when it started going up this Tle, its tail is now in the middle of the sky. Comes out in other, the tail of Tle at the end of the 10th hour is in the middle of the sky. And that's what the Gemara Mbisef says, Baruch Hashem, right? The Baruch Hashem explains that Kima is the tail of Tle, which Trace points out not precisely exactly like that. He says, really, it's um, Ash is the tail of Tle. Kima is just very near it. It says, Havli Banai. But upon him, that's what the Gemara is describing that when is it that the planting season goes up until it's up until when the sh- when the sh- when the workers come back from the fields and Kima's on their head, which Rashi makes it sound like it's other taste. It says it's Shvat. Like upon them, it's somewhere uh, at, at that point in the year. Now, Meisri the Gemara, however, asked for the following price. He said like his words that there are six kufis that were guaranteed for Noich and his children that the world's going to maintain, which it lost during the Mabel, which you have Chatzit Tishrei, the, the, the second half of Tishrei, Marcheshven, the Chatzit Kislev, that's Zerah, that's the planting season. And then you have, move, for moving along in the year, you have Chatzit Kislev, Tevis, and Chatzit Shvat, that's Chayv, that's the winter. Then you have Chatzit Shvat, half a Shvat, Adar, and Chatzit Nisan, that's Kur, that's the cold. Then you have Chatzit Nisan, Ir, and Chatzit Sivan, that we're in right now, that's Katzer. That's Chaga Katzer that we're having right now. Uh, the harvesting season, which really that like correlates to the planting season. This one's in the beginning of the winter. This one's in the beginning of the summer. Then you have Chatzis Sivan, the second half of Sivan, Tamas, Vachatziyav, that's Kayitz. That's the summer. That correlates to the winter because Chayrif is the term of like strong. It's a lotion of Chayzig, of Chorfeish. Uh, that uh, as we find in my in my sharp years, in my primary years, and kayitz is the is the chizik, is the strength of the dry season because they dry things on that season the dates and the and the and the figs uh, for 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 drying them up that's called kayitz as we find the pasuk in Shmuel Beis alechem kayitz lechel on arm, and then you have chatzi av el b'chatzi tishri that's chaim that's the heat because just like the cold is the end of the winter. So to the heat is the end of the summer. So to each one goes for a period of two months, which it goes with halves, but it's two months. So you have 12 months for six seasons. Yehuda Moinim et Tishrei. Yehuda actually, he starts from the beginning of Tishrei. He starts counting two months for every season. And Yehuda Moinim et Tishrei. So I mean, although we started halfway through Tishrei, uh, Yehuda starts from the beginning of Tishrei. Yehuda starts, his count starts from the beginning of Cheshvin. Okay. Says the Gemara, Man Mekel Bakulu, who is the most lenient from them all, meaning for the extension of how long is the planting season? Who, for if someone wants to delay his planting, it's Rib Shimon, because he starts counting from Cheshvan. So he says, Cheshvan and Kislev is the planting season. He's the latest from them all. But Bakulu Haile Kamar, he's not going till Shvat, he's not going till Adar. How are you tell me that the planting season goes all the way till then, that these renter has to be planting all the way till this time of the year? He says, Gwale Kash is not difficult because Ha. The Braisa is the Kibla Mene is where he, 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 he accepted to uh, plant for wheat and rye, which are planted in the beginning of the winter. Yeah, those only go, like the Braisa is telling us, max till Cheshman. Ha, a papa is talking about the Kibla Mene Afli. He accepted to plant things that are late season, like barley and, and beans, which are planted in other, therefore it's not a contradiction.
Now the Mishnah had said Rabbi Yudah, he says him kibla and He says if the the whole deal was for money, not to pay the lease from the bundles of the bushels themselves, but for money, then the Eman Akin because the Gzei was never on the money. So says the Gemara, who gave there was a certain person the kabel adar lemizrei buhu to me. He had contracted to work on the guy's field to plant garlic. And he did this aguda de har malkasaba, which was by the banks of the river malkasaba. And the contract was, Bezuzit is going to pay the owner with money. What happened was the stalker nar malkasaba, the, the, the river uh, got clogged, got dammed, where it stopped going, where the, 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 all of them around, you couldn't be successful with planting anything because it wasn't moist anymore. So as the coming the rabbi came in front of the rabbi, Amalei said to him, "Nahar malkasaba over the misaker. This river doesn't usually get dammed. Samakas medina. It's a global problem. It's not on this guy itself um, that it passes, and he shouldn't have entertained that anything would happen. Um, so therefore, zilnakile, you got to go diminish the amount of the rent." Amalei rabbi the rabbi the rabbi said the rabbi, "How not to learn the mishnah b'dami says him kibla and the but if the contractual amount of the rent that he's going to pay was with money, either way, even though it's Makkah's you don't diminish on the rent money. And Louis said to them, Less the chash, the no one's concerned with this opinion of We don't go with that opinion. Now look at the next Mishnah, continuing on this theme of a Makabal, someone accepts a field to work on from his friend. He's going to pay him. Give what? Oh yeah, they they mean they stay, they they stopped it up. Shekvul, yeah, right. They stopped, right, right. They 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 damned it, right, right. So you want to know meaning? Why why would that be considered a Malkus Medina? Because uh, yeah, here meaning it's something that happened to everyone. What? Well, what do they say? It was it was common. Right, if would be right, if would be right, 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 right. That's what she says that. Right, Rashi says the law have right. Rashi says that here wasn't common, right. So he, he, he didn't have to entertain that. Had he been, yeah. So then we wouldn't uh, charge any less rent. Now this next mission that talks about uh, if someone's makabal filled from his friend. Basar uh, Kor Lashana. He's charging him ten core of wheat for the year. Now, but like so, the 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 actual wheat got got ruined. It's it's inferior. It got wind blasted. It was it was weak. So Noisin Lemi Teicha, which as Rashi points out, obviously that this halacha of the mission must be toma chakiris, um, which he pays him a certain amount, but he could give it to him from the inferior wheat inside itself because if it was kablanis, obviously everyone just gets whatever their portion is. It's a, it's a profit sharing. So obviously we give it from inside. Must be talking about even chakranis. He says, okay, I'll pay you, but I'll pay it from the inferior one. And the same thing goes all the way too. But he tell is what it was. Wow, amazing quality. The wheat. Like you cannot tell him. I'll the I'll buy for you from the market. I'll give you those. I'll notice the matech. He's giving those inside. So it works both ways. Now explain this halacha. The gemara says, who gavra? There was a certain person, the kabel arla as pasta. He accepted the field for uh, as pasta. Now, but the plan was meaning it's a type of shachas like the animal fodder, you know. Uh, but the plan was to pay Bakuri um, with 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 uh, with type of barley. Now, Avdas Pasta, what happened was like this, which says this, this part of Avdas Pasta is not really significant, just what the story was. But the guy made us pasta, which is it's it's the same grain, it just cut after 30 days, like the Gemara says in Cheskis about them. So he he got what he needed out of it for his animals, and then he went in Bakhursha Bazar Sari. He went and he plant he plowed and he planted barley, which was what he has to pay. Uh, the owner with, and the barley got ruined. So Shachar of Chavivim Mesuga the Pagas like the Rabina, he asked from Rabina Ki Agav Nemai. This case, what's the halacha? In other words, Ki Loksa Noisin L'Metoichadam. Is this like the case of our Mishnah that when he gets ruined, he gives him from what's inside, and I could give him the inferior barley? I lie or not? Somebody says no, it's not the same thing. Me dummy, is it comparable? Hasma within the Mishnah of the Adash Lechus of the Mara, the land did not do what the agency of the master was. What he contracted it for didn't produce well so for the rent money i'll give you from uh, from the rent produce i'll give you the inferior 
the land did the agency of the master because you released it only for aspasta. Had you planted aspasta, it would have been successful. He obviously, when he wants to, you're going to pay him barley, barley from the marketplace. You can't give me from the inferior barley over here because that's not what, that's not what you leased it for. A similar story: Who gathered the couple part this A certain person accepted a, to work on a, a, a vineyard of his friend. And he'll gave him the rent money, ten barrels of wine. But that was talk about chamra. The barrels of wine went sour. So Rav Kahn Lomim, so Rav Kahn thought to say, I must need it's like the ending of our Mishnah. Like so when it gets ruined, like, so he said, here, take it, you know, from, from, from your own produce. Amalei Rav Ashi says, no, me dummies are comparable. Hazem la'ab da'ar shlechusa. There the land didn't do its agency in our Mishnah. Hazem la'ab da'ar Here the land did its agency because the grapes didn't get ruined. It's only when it was made into wine in the barrels in this house it got ruined. The Gemara says about Basav Tzadik Rav Mabez, that's Chamra Kats for the Gabra Shabar. Where the, when you buy the wine, it's good, but the muzzle of the one who's holding it causes it to sour. And therefore, it's not an excuse to give the owner anything inferior of a type of wine. But a moider of Asher, Asher agrees, but invade the chadum, grapes that got wormy, or a, a field that, that when the bundles are still spread out to dry up in the summer months, because as long as you still need the property, oh, and then it got ruined. And so to the grapes that got wormy, whether between the harvesting and, and the pressing, where as long as the guy didn't delay longer than the common custom is, that yeah, then you could give mitaycha. That's the halacha like mitaycha. But once it's already past that stage, then you can't say it's like mitaycha. I'll look at the next Mishnah, start this next topic. Again, the same theme of if someone accepts the field from his friend, Lazarus Sa'irim, to plant barley, which this is for like a chakirus. Uh, a, a, a lease that is going to give him a certain amount of wheat or barley or money. So the halach is, lo yizren achitim. Then you're not a planted wheat because wheat actually weakens the ground more than barley. And as Rashi points out here again, this mission would only be applicable by chakronis because it's kablonis. The Gemara actually told us on Kavdal Mabez, tikrish ara, v'loylikrish mara. I want my land to be ruined, but not meat to be ruined. And he benefits by the change because he's getting more profit. So here's chakrans. I'm getting anyways the same amount. Then you're not allowed to change to do something that, that makes the, uh, the, 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 the ground worse. Now, chitimara, if you made up to plant wheat, then you zen soy, then you can plant barley because that's, that's even softer on the ground. However, Mishim Lila says, actually, it's forbidden, as the Gemara is going to explain the reasoning, that you can't change even that way too. And so to Tfua, you made up to plant grain, you zen the kitness, you're not plant beans because beans weakens the ground more than grain. Kitness, you zen the Tfua, but if you made up to plant beans, you're allowed to plant grain. Shemulah so says that's forbidden. So I remember because he says, my time, what's the reason Shemulah says even to do it better, it's Asr. Because the Chesim says, the remnants of the Jewish people will not do anything wrong. They're not going to talk lies. And you're not going to find in their mouth any words of deceit. In other words, if you made up, you made up. Even something better, you don't change. Or the Gemara says, Mesa, the Gemara asks in the following Brisa, the Allah is, Megavas Purim le Purim. The money that was collected for Purim has to be used for Purim. But we're not so precise to tell them, oh, enough, and that the rest should go to the tzedakah. Oh, it, it, it all goes for the Purim, but, meaning for the poor people, but the poor man cannot take from that money for his, his shoestrings. Unless it was stipulated with the, in the assembly of the, of the board of the, of the town, that's the Bibiak of Shemeshim Meir. Shemuel, and that's who the question's from, as you get turned up of Kobzayim and Alf, he's makel, he's lenient. So though he's changing, he doesn't hold that a person's particular, something that he's not losing out from. So doesn't this contradict Shemuel in our Mishnah, who says that, no, you're not allowed to change, even if it's better for the person? So Amabaya, rather, Baya says, time of Shimon is Kidamar, like the master, meaning referring to Rabbi Van Achmeni, who was the Rebbe of Abaya, because Rabbi brought him up in his house, the Amabaya, that the rabbi said, Haiman de Nichele de Titfor Are. That, uh, so it's for a different reason, not because the She'er is Yisrael. Because if a person wants, this is how Rashi explains, Tesla explains differently, that if a person wants that his field should be ruined, Titfor is like Loshan Abura, that it should not, nothing should sprout. So, in other words, saying, well, if you want to ruin your field, Lazura, you should, you should plant a Shot of Chitif Shot of one year wheat, one year barley. Shot of Shasi, Shot of Arab, one year. Uh, 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 Chris and one word cross okay. length and and uh, the width. Oh, so 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 also over here, 
if the guy made up with him to plant a wheat, maybe because he planted the past wheat, the past year wheat also, and he's going to plant this year barley, comes out, it's going to ruin it. And therefore, that's why he can't change for this other uh, reason. Which says, says, says exactly the opposite. But the Gemara said, we didn't say this only if the guy doesn't plow after he harvests and then afterwards um, change at the time that he's planting. But if, if you plow and then you repeat, then there's no problem. Even according to Shimon, it's not going to ruin it. But like upon them, that's why Shimon says you can't change it because simply you don't know what the guy did the previous year. And therefore, if you do a certain type of planting, it might ruin it. Anytime. Posting us. Chag Chashem Sameach.